Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Epic Citadel app for the Google Android operating system. We're going to be using the Nexus 10 from Google and Samsung. And it's a perfect device for this particular app because it has a 2560 by 1600 vertical pixel display. It's a very high density display. It's 10 inches large. And so it means that there's lots of pixels, which means super smooth edges. So let's go ahead and fire up the app here. So we're going to have a little intro video here. The application is built on the Unreal Engine, which has been ported over to Android. It's a very beautiful entrance entry screen here. Cool music. And there you go. This is being rendered in 3D as we speak. So you can see very beautiful reflections, beautiful lighting, textures, all the attributes of very nice graphics. So here, welcome to Epic Citadel. Let's just get started exploring. So all we have to do to move around is just kind of tap, and as we're moving, we can kind of look around and take in the sights. The audio gets kind of old because it's a short little loop, but um, you know, it's still kind of fun to just look around here. There's some ambient sounds, birds, dar dogs barking, um, stuff like that. So here's a little chapel scene here. Um, this is one area where I did notice a little bit of slowdown depending on where you are. Um, as you can see, there's some beautiful reflections here in the floor, in the statue very beautiful lighting. I wish that the lighting kind of moved around a little bit so it was more dynamic, but um, you know, even just the static lighting is pretty beautiful. But as we turn around here, you'll kind of see the frame rate start to drop there. And I'm recording on the camera at 60 frames per second, so hopefully you can kind of make out that um, you know jerkiness in the video motion. Yeah, see it kind of stutters there a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what's causing that. I imagine it has something to do with the shadows uh, in the scene here and the, um, the shadows and the uh, reflections. So let's go around and uh, keep exploring. Got a little sword and shield store there. Let's go through here. Got a little food stand there. More food stands, a little cart off to the side, a portcullis. Very beautiful textures though. I don't know if you can see just how sharp those textures are in like the stone and everything, but it just looks really good. Some of the textures are a little less impressive though. In fact, if we go back and look at the little food stand here, you'll kind of notice that the, um, oops, kind of get up in closer here. You'll kind of notice that the food is very two-dimensional. It's almost like a picture um, that's just been overlaid on top of a flat a piece of geometry. So from a geometrical standpoint, that isn't too impressive, but you know, can't have your cake and eat it too, right? So here's some really cool lighting. You can kind of see the, uh, the shadows being cast on the stones there. But again, the thing about the, the geometry in this is that it, it's very it's very flat, so you aren't seeing a whole lot of you know true geometry. A lot of it's just kind of faked through, um, I think, what they call environment mapping. Just kind of go through and explore the castle here a little bit. Trees and leaves. Pretty cool sky textures. We've got the little banner up there that's flying around. Pretty cool battlements. Go into the courtyard here. Got some leaves falling off the trees. Some beautiful lighting, beautiful clouds. The stone textures are just what really blow me away. The stones are really sharp. You know, I wish that the uh, textures on the ground were a little bit sharper, but that looks pretty good too. You know, it's it's all pretty good, pretty well done. 
So we're going to actually exit the castle here, or the town. And there's a little bit of an outdoor scene here. There's some tents way down there. And we're kind of going down the mountain here. Just kind of make our way down. Kind of look back up at the castle. Again, just you know, beautiful textures. We've got a bird flying up there. Um, beautiful architecture. I just kind of have a thing for castles and you know stone architecture. It's just really awe-inspiring how these things used to be built. So much more interesting architecture than we have these days. You actually get a really good view of the castle as you kind of come out here, because then you can, you know, kind of look back at it from a distance. It's just a really good uh, kind of viewing angle. See. The towers, you know, shooting way up in the sky. You've kind of got some haziness because these towers up in here are kind of further back than these ones, and there's kind of some fog that um, somewhat prevents the viewing. Uh, you know, there's a little chapel over here. It looks really cool. That's what we were inside of before with the reflections on the floor and the statue. Little bridge here. Looking back at the little settlement here. Kind of look back at the towers again. Isn't that just beautiful? How those battlements come across there to this tower. You know, who knows, maybe that's like a prison tower or something. And you can see the gate to the castle up in here. And I mean, just absolutely beautiful scenery. that kind of hazy effect is being applied to this um, chapel as well because we're so far off in the distance there's a little waterfall over here not super realistic looking water but you know it's it's acceptable it's pretty good you know the colors here on the tents are pretty intense you know you've got the deep yellows the nice blue there the reds, the greens, just very colorful. And then at the end here, we just have a little gate and you can't open it, you can't do anything with it, but you know, it's kind of up to the observer's imagination as far as what's out there beyond the town. But, you know, this is a really cool app. Um, you know, it really shows off the power of the Nexus 10 and the graphics processor in it. And uh, it just has some beautiful scenes here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video.